our show first, and then if you have money left over, go to his shit. I promise it'll be alright with us. All right. Next up, coming to the stage, another one of my favorites. Make some noise for the very funny Kevin Wendell. We tried to be too black right here. That sucks. We're both not that black. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, well, anyway, uh, I actually am not like from Washington, and like I kind of like I love it here, but like. I love how the people here don't know how to sail this state whatsoever. Like, I was on the ferry, and like one guy was like, man, I love it, I wanna move here, like it's so great. And like the girl who was with was like, yeah, it's pretty awesome, we got like one of the largest active volcanoes in the country, and I'm just like, what? Like, that's a terrible selling point, like, why would you do that? Like if I met a girl and she's like, oh, you're kinda cute, I'm like, yeah, it only drips every once a month, you know, it's cool. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. Like I like how people are like health conscious and everything, but they still smoke. And like I seen somebody like drop a cigarette on the ground, and they were like, "Oh, I can't smoke that anymore." And I'm like, "There's rat poison in there. Like you can't smoke the cigarette off the ground because there's spit." You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Oh, whatever. Who cares? Yeah. Well. well let me tell you guys something. I'm actually getting like mad at black people lately. It's kind of weird that I say that. But like I get mad because like I'm turning into a, like a wine snob now. Like I start drinking a lot of wine and not like Thunderbird and stuff like that, but like real wine. And like I got a lot of black friends who started drinking wine, but they start like drinking Moscato. I'm like, like what kind of wine you like? They're like, oh, I love Moscato. And I'm like, cool, man, like, you know that tastes like soda, right? Like, that's not real wine. And I'm like, I don't think you get it. Like, you're still falling for the trap. Like, it's a trap. Like, whoever they are, got you. Because that's still technically great soda. And they're, like, laughing at us for this. You know? It's pretty, pretty ridiculous. I don't know. But, uh, like, actually, I'm a little fat, and I think I'm going to start working out. And like, not for like a physical thing to like look good, like just cause I'm petty. And like, I'm gonna start working out, I'm gonna get real diesel. Cause like, I listen to like a lot of Michelle Branch and things like that, and Ellie Furtado. And like, I wanna get stopped at a light and somebody be like, oh look at this punk. And then just get out and whoop his ass to like, I'm like a bird. Cause that's like awesome. I feel like you won in life if you do that to somebody. That's just how I operate in life in my head. It's kind of weird. Yeah. But uh, before I get out of here, I'm going to ask you guys something that's uh, like been weighing on my, my head a little bit. And like, I don't know how I feel about it. It's uh, like I was thinking, like, with Abe Lincoln and everything, like, did Abraham Lincoln like use cotton sheets, you know? Right? Because if he did, like, that's fucked up. Like, I don't like that about him. Like, what was he doing? He's like, we gotta free the slaves, man, but this thread count. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. I just, that's it. That's my time. Good night. Kevin Wendell, let him hear one more time.